What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, caps through sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Leave the rest. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your situation is story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Um, love you guys so much. Um, I'm still channeling, so I'm going to go and get the message out. Happy supposed Independence Day, everybody. People that don't retaliate against people or gang stalk people, people or about bully or harass people. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, stolen business ideas on stolen money in a very toxic city um, or about to be um, um, follow through with soon. However, through many series of chain of events, these businesses are about to tank into the ground in huge ways through many series of chain of events, through many series of unexpected series of chain of events. In very, very, very unexpected ways, they're about to experience um, um, sorry, I'll sit. Through many series of chain of events, they're about to experience um, unexpected hardships in huge ways. It's about to be so overwhelming and so um, the hardships are about to be so overwhelming um, and so many of them that they're actually going to end up losing more money that they that than they than they stole. The business will, businesses will fall apart. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, wow. So stolen business ideas on stolen money in a toxic city. Wow, that's a that's a hefty combination right there. Just saying, just saying. Stolen ideas on stolen money in a toxic city. Who wants to live there? Not I, said the little right hand. Um, I heard um, they're about to be follow, follow through with soon. So they're about to be followed through with soon. So these people that stole somebody's business idea or ideas and stole money are about to purvey them to the toxic people of their community. Um, or some people, I mean, I'm not saying the whole community is toxic, but they allow these people to steal the money and the business ideas. So, I mean, just saying, just saying. I heard Toxic City. Um, so, it's a city in Oz area. It's not a little town. But how that resonates, um, they're about to experience, I heard, huge hardships. Huge hardships. And um, every single one of them will fail. Every single one of them. Including all the food trucks, know this. Every single one of them will fail. Every single one of them, including all the food trucks, is what I heard. So apparently, there's a city about to roll out some food truck ideas, but um, and it sounds like two or two plus. But I heard they all will fail. Um, I heard through many shocking series of chain events, they're about to experience huge hardships. Um, but, and by the end of this, I heard they're going to end up spending more money than they actually stole. So, um, it's going to actually um, end up being a loss for them overall. Um, I heard it unexpected ways, huge hardships and unexpected ways. And they're going to end up actually spending more money than the, what they originally stole. I wonder if they're going to be able to make any money. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe a little bit, but probably not enough to come over. I heard that every single one of them are going to fail. Every single one. And there's at least two food trucks in here. But it sounds like there's more businesses along with just two food trucks. You plug it in how it resonates. Wow. There will be blockage after blockage after blockage after blockage and delay after delay after delay after delay. 
problem after problem after problem after problem. The people they have collaborated with them in these business ideas, they're not going to want to help solve these problems. They're very spoiled people. Okay, I heard they're about to experience blockage after blockage after blockage and delay after delay and delay and delay. And the people apparently they have collaborating with them in these food trucks and other business ideas, I heard they, um, they're basically lazy and spoiled and they're not going to want to solve the problems. So they expect everything just to come to them. Come to them rosy dozy and nicey nice and handy dandy. But, and they expect the money just to flow in. But they don't want to do the hard work behind it, basically. Sounds like a bunch of lazy, spoiled people, if you ask me. Um, and that's just the truth. Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, Tennessee. Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, Tennessee. New York, Texas, Alabama, Florida, Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Tennessee, Texas, New York. I think that was it. You have to go back and check for the full list. That's a lot of states. That's a lot of stolen money. That's a lot of stolen business ideas. Um, and apparently food trucks involved in this, um, at least. I didn't hear the other business ideas. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. These people are not going to work well together. They most certainly are not. It's going to cause huge conflictual energy here. Huge. Okay, I heard these people are not going to work well together. And it's going to cause huge conflictual energy here. Huge. So, um, whoever these people are, it sounds like several, I mean, several states and several situations um whoever they're choosing to collaborate with it's it doesn't even i mean one they're lazy and they sound spoiled i mean they got the business ideas they stole the business idea they stole the money um i mean they didn't even work hard for the money they got nor um the business idea um so, and they're putting themselves around low vibrational people Lazy, low vibrational people. That's a horrible, horrible mix. Horrible mix. And that's just the truth. Um, some of these businesses are going to fail before they even get going. Some of these businesses are going to fail before they ever get going. And for some of these, there's going to be huge city permit issues and fines. Huge. And in some of these situations, there's going to be huge city permit um, issues and fines. Huge. So some kind of huge city permit issues and fines in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I don't know if that's with the food trucks or with something else. Because I heard food trucks, but I didn't hear the other business ideas. But some kind of huge city permit um, issues and fines. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's definitely in city andized areas. I feel in the states that I mentioned, um, I think that's what I'm feeling, but the states can be significant in any significant shape, form, or fashion. I feel this is where these business ideas are about to um, take off. Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, and um, New York. But you plug it in how it resonates.
Okay, I didn't hear anything else. And some of these people will end up being locked up before they even get the business ideas off the ground. Know this. Through many shocking series of chain of events. And some of these people will end up being locked up before they even get the business ideas off the ground through many series of chain of events. Well, that, okay, well, wow. Let's pull a for then. So some, I was about to close it. So some of these people are about to be locked up in jail, it sounds like, before they even get the business ideas off the ground. So it sounds like maybe some of them about to get caught for the theft um, or for something else before they even get the business ideas off the ground. Yeah, we got adjudication. About to have to go to court. Um, court date. Because they're about to be locked up behind bars. Um, but that's through many series of chain of events. But some of them will be locked up before they even get the business ideas off the ground. Because I think the law is under their ass. Or they're about to be. Hugely on to them. Hugely. Hugely on to them. Hugely. Holy crap. Number 30 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 30. It could be a possible age of you. Or somebody you're connected to. Or one of these toxic people. Number 30. Well, that's what they get for stealing money um, and business ideas. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have for like this. Bad health, number 31. Could be a very significant number. Number 31. Could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. A pregnancy is significant in here. Drugs are significant in here. Cancer is significant in here. The illness. HIV is significant in here. Oh, my God. Okay, so I heard uh, drugs, a pregnancy, the illness, cancer, and uh, HIV are significant in here. Well, um, yikes. I hope the person that has HIV, I hope they, um, I hope they, oh, Lord. I hope they wear double gloves or something, because I was thinking if they're doing the food truck, if they cut their hand, oh, my God, they, I hope they're double gloving, because that is serious, serious. Um, I don't know. I'm not these people. I just think from a nurse's perspective here. Um. I heard um, the illness cancer. So somebody's got cancer in this situation, like the illness cancer. Now, I didn't hear what kind of cancer it is, but some kind of cancer. Somebody's got HIV in here. Um, and um, um, what was the other one? Um, HIV cancer. Um, Oh, drugs. Drugs are significant in here. So somebody's a drug user or several people are drug users. Um, and there was another one too. This is, uh, this doesn't sound like people I'd want to work with. And that's just the truth. Open containers are about to be very significant as well. Open containers are about to be very significant as well. So these people have bad health, I'm feeling. I feel they have bad health. The community is not going to support this. Not at all. The community is not going to support this. Not at all, is what I heard. I heard uh, some of these businesses, they're not even going to... Uh, they're going to end up, I mean, they're going to end up losing more money than they sold. So it's basically going to be a huge hogwash by the end of this, financial wise, because they're going to end up spending more money than they originally sold. So I guess they can try, but it's not going to work out. I heard the community's not going to support this. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, there's about a lot of bad energy, a lot of low vibrational energies in here. But you, you're low vibrational if you steal. And that's just the truth. Period. Point blank. Oh, a pregnancy. A pregnancy. Okay, yeah. So, HIV. Somebody's got HIV in here. Somebody's got cancer of the illness. Somebody's pregnant. And, um, um, 
there was another one. You oh drugs and drugs. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's a lot of bad health energy. I mean, the pregnancy not so much, I guess. The pregnancy's not, unless they're on drugs, unless the person on pregnant is on drugs. I'm not sure. Um, only this pregnant person knows if they're on drugs or not, but it doesn't sound these sound very low vibrational, like very low vibrational people. I heard the community's not gonna support it. So um you plug it in how it resonates. These people are going to be very, 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 very frustrated. Very. These people are going to be very, 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 very frustrated. Very. So they're going to be very frustrated. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. And someone's about to betray one of these people in a huge way. Someone they never thought they would. Fraud. Unemployment fraud. And tax evasion. It's about to create many negative series of chain of events for them. Many. And someone's about to um, betray one of these people they never thought they would. It's about to create many negative series of chain of events for them. I heard unemployment, fraud, and tax evasion. So at least one of these people in here, I'm feeling it might be one of these four, but it could be any of these people because there's a bunch of people up in here. Um, low vibrational energies collaborating with these new business, business ideas. At least one person has committed un unemployment fraud and at least one person has committed tax evasion. But I think I'm pulling this, I'm obviously pulling this in for a reason. I think one of you guys, one of my viewers knows of this about to start either in Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, Texas, Louisiana, or New York. Um, and I'm serious. I think you know this is about to go down or you're about to find out it's about to go down because the community is about to be very, very public in the community. Part of the community is not going to support it. But I think you know these people, you either know or you're about to find out these people are about to start this, right? So, however that resonates for you, my viewer, I think you know one of these people has tax evaded or you know one of these people has committed unemployment fraud and you're about to smartly report them to the irs reporting tool or smartly report them to the state unemployment fraud reporting tool on the state website or the irs website this is exactly what i think um but you plug it in how it resonates one of these people has tax evaded but one of you guys knows they have and one of these people has committed unemployment fraud and one of you guys knows they have just for anybody who doesn't know, there is an IRS uh, reporting tool for um, significant reports, i.e. tax evasion, which is a huge one. And anybody who doesn't know, tax evasion is basically not to paying your taxes. Um, and that's just the truth. Not paying what you're supposed to be paying in taxes. There's a IRS.gov. You click on the top under, uh, I think it's, I can't. I haven't pulled it up in a hot minute, but it's on the top under the search bar. You pull the drop downs down. There's a reporting tool. You can report there for tax evasion. If anybody needs that information on the state reporting tool, um, I forget what the website is for that, but you can Google um, um, unemployment fraud or something of that nature. It'll pull it up um, a number you can call to ask what you need to do etc how do you report that um etc 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 i think there is an actual on the unemployment um i've applied for unemployment only one time in my life and i was denied it so i haven't went that route since um and that's just the truth um i've never received unemployment every day in my life like i said i tried one time and i got denied and i went on my wide way making my own damn money because I wasn't going to try to go through that bullshit again. And that's just the truth. So, uh, anyway, so 
you you know um, you can pull up the unemployment state unemployment whatever state you're in. I think there is a report like a tab too on the state side for reporting fraud, um, and you can do the same thing. If you were one of the ones of my viewers that knows this person has committed unemployment fraud. There's a lot going on in here. Drug users, pregnancy, um, somebody with HIV. I hope they're not food servicing. Just saying, just saying. And um, uh, what was the other one? Uh, the other one, whatever it was. Okay. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I wouldn't want to work with these people. I'm just saying. All right. Love you guys. Everybody have a good night. Namaste.